Hey guys, it's Dink. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. My name is Dink and I post Disney related content such as Disney vlogs where I talk about Disney foods, we talk about lounge flies, we talk about Funkos, talk about my crazy collection that is right behind me. All things Disney on this channel. Now today I have a haul for you guys, but not just any haul, my birthday haul. So my birthday was a couple weeks ago. It was on May 17th. Um, your girl is officially like old now. I'm not too thrilled with it but it's okay i got all these lovely things for my birthday i have some presents from my fiance some things from his family and then things i bought myself because like when you get older like people stop buying you presents <laughs> but i don't expect any presents so like i like to spoil myself a lot during the month of may and your girl definitely did so let's just get into it first i'm going to share with you guys what my fiance's family got us so my brother-in-law aj his wife sharia and then their two kids augie and alani they got me some things so first thing they got me is this funko pop and it's of kyle larson um fun fact about me guys um i like nascar i don't watch it as much as i used to growing up but growing up like me and my family like every sunday we'd watch nascar together we each have like our own driver and stuff and usually on that day we would have like certain like like special breakfast where like my parents would make us breakfast or like my dad would get us donuts or like you know breakfast things it was just like the thing to do on sundays was have like a nice breakfast and then watch nascar all day so my favorite driver is kyle larson um so they got me this funko pop of him i don't have i think i have maybe two other sports um Funko Pops not ones that I really like collect but there he is in his nice little box I think I'm gonna keep him in this box just because like it's nice these are all the other drivers you can get you can get Bubba Wallace you can get Chase Elliott and Dale Earnhardt which is my dad's favorite driver um then it changed to Dale Earnhardt Jr now she he likes Haley I don't know her last name but she's that's his favorite driver so this is my favorite driver uh we love so Ta -da! I got that. They also got me, let me get this box. They gave me it in this nice little like Hotel Transylvania box. <laughs> um, they got me this like um, snack. It's a Campolinko. I don't even know what it is, but they got me this. They also got me Jello and a Rice Krispie Treat as well, which I already ate. <laughs> and then they got me this like Harry Potter magnet and it's of Draco. Um, Draco is like one of my favorite characters plus he's Slytherin my house is Slytherin as well so there's that super cute I kind of wish it was a keychain then I can put it on my Draco bag but it's a magnet really, really cute maybe I can turn it into a pin and pin it onto my backpack or something or maybe I could turn it into a keychain I don't know but it's really, really cute and he looks angry and he's on his broomstick and then they got me this Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Diamond Collection exclusive Peter Pan from Peter Pan's Flight. Um, this is kind of funny because every time we went to box lunch, my fiance Marcus kept saying like, you need to get it, you need to get it, you need to get it. And I just never got it and they got it for me. So he is all diamond and glittery. I might put this on my... Um, mini mouse attraction peter pan flights backpack i think it would go really well with it since they're both like that one's really sequence and then this is diamond i don't know but it's really really cute um so i will probably put it on that backpack so there's that and then lastly oh they got me target stickers alani did so <laughs> and then she also made me this cute little drawing and here it is. Oh, that's the back side. So it says Alani, and that's a picture of me and her. How cute is that? And it says, to Auntie Diggy, happy birthday, heart Alani. And it says the year on it, May 17th, 2022. So, so cute. Love the color. Purple. We love that. And she gave it to me in this cute little tangled envelope, which I'll probably keep because it's tangled. So that's what they got me. Really, really sweet and nice of them. They didn't have to get me anything. But they did. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you guys what my fiance got me for my birthday. So we actually went to Disneyland for my birthday. It was literally like a last minute decision because I happened to have three days off of work. So we did a spontaneous trip, went to Disneyland for my birthday. So I would like to thank my fiance for that. That was his big birthday gift 
for me is to take me to Disneyland for my birthday. I used to go like every single year. Um, so it was really nice to go back and I got a Disney button and of course that says happy birthday and it says my name on it. You guys can get this at like the Disney, it's for free, the Disney stores in like on Main Street. Um, you can get them at Town Hall and everything and they write your name on it. And it's really nice because it makes your day like extra special and everything. So I got my birthday button and then he also got me this autograph book with the princesses. I've always wanted to do this. I don't know if I did it as a kid, um, but I know a lot of kids do this and I think it's special if adult does it too. And the characters were super sweet and nice when I met them. I will be uploading a vlog soon of when I met all these characters, but this is the princess one and it says the adventure is on and it has all the princesses on it. It has Mulan, Cinderella, Jasmine, Rapunzel, Belle, Snow White, or Ariel, Pocahontas, and Tiana on it and it's pink and glittery and then on the back it says live your dreams with Cinderella, Snow White, and Belle. Really, really cute and then this is like the front page. You can put who it belongs to. It has some Disney princess icons on it and then um the first character I think I met was Tinkerbell um and then the second one I got to meet was Mickey Mouse and that was like amazing you guys will see in the vlog I don't want to spoil anything but this is what he wrote in here he put happy birthday love Mickey Mouse in it so stinking cute and then I have Tinkerbell we have Rapunzel and Flynn Rider this one was so hard to get guys like so hard to get this one <laughs> and then we have Elena we have Mulan, we have Princess Aurora, she was so stinking sweet. We have Goofy, we have Ant-Man, this one's really random, but I met Ant-Man and he signed it. We met Jesse. we met Minnie Mouse, Chip and Dale, Donald Duck. <laughs> And then Pluto, that was the last one I got. Um, some of the characters I met more than once and then actually some characters don't sign as well. So if you want an autograph from Scarlet Witch, she doesn't sign because she'll burn your book. Um, Buzz Lightyear doesn't sign as well. Certain characters don't sign, but better to ask than to not ask. So that's what he got me. And then he got me two Funko Pops. So the first one I got like was an early birthday present and it's this one, if you've seen it on my TikTok. He got me Mimi Red Panda from Trinity Red. This is the flocked one and it's so, it's so big, but it's so stinking cute, really, really soft. And she's just like, you know, really adorable. This one sits right on my desk and she has like a cute little tail, little butt. So sassy and adorable. It's kind of like almost the same size as my Baymax one. Um, but she sits right on my desk because I don't really have a lot of turning red stuff. I just have this and like a plushie. So I don't have like a shelf just yet. Just yet. Um, but she's really cute and adorable. This was, I believe, I want to say like a Funko exclusive one. Um, but it's really it's so cute and soft. Like adorable. Adorable. Next Funko Pop he got me is one that I've been wanting for literally a long time. And every time I see it, I point it out because I want it and then I don't, I just don't get it because a lot of places have it for like, a, not expensive price, but more higher up price, like anywhere from like 20 to 30 bucks. Um, I don't know where he got this one, um, but there were some rare places that would have them. But they would have them for like cheap and there would be like one more left. Anyways, <laughs> he got me the Rapunzel Ultimate Princess Celebration Pop. I've been wanting this one for so long since it came out. Now I have some of them. I have, let's see, I have Ariel, Tiana with her blue dress. I have the Aurora one. I have the Jasmine one. I have the Pocahontas one. And then now I have this one. So the only ones I'm missing is Cinderella, Moana, Snow White. And then I believe they're putting out a Anna and Elsa one. They haven't, I think, just yet. Maybe just pre-orders. But I finally got this one. So let's go ahead and take her out of the box. I haven't taken her out of the box just yet. Because I want to display her on my shelf. And then speaking of my bookcases, I got another one. So I have a fifth one that I need to decorate. So that's going to come up in a new video. And your girls definitely need to, like, expand my Rapunzel shelf. 
and my Tinkerbell one because it's just overflowing. So this is what it looks like. She's so adorable. She has her little paint palette and her brush. Pascal is sitting on her head. Her hair is kind of on the floor and the floor is like really, really cute. It looks like just like her like tower floor. It's so adorable. I love it so much. I don't have a Funko Pop that has Pascal. These two little things right here are adorables, but really, really cute. Like definitely my favorite one because Hello, Rapunzel. She's so adorable. So this will probably go either on this shelf or my newly bookcase shelf. So there's that. And then he also got me another Rapunzel thing. It is a little like figurine. It's called Sweet Teeny Teeny. I don't know, but it's really, really adorable. It's from Box Lunch. So stinking cute. We're going to take her out of the box too. Um, so I can show you guys. I took her out of the box when I first got her. I wanted to see what she looks like. She's so, she's so cute. <laughs> they have a bunch of these. I want to say they have like a Cinderella one as well. No, an Aurora one that I want at box lunch. So this is like her little stand. It is a yellow like flower. It has like the two little babies to put her on. And then, hold on. I'm taking her out of like this plastic bag that she's in oh my god too cute and then here she is how adorable is she like look at her eyes they're so pretty and big and she's holding a frying pan literally so cute like so so cute oh my goodness how many times can i say cute in this video i don't know like a thousand and then let's see let's see if i can figure this out put her or does it go this way? I don't know. Which way does it go? I got this. I don't need no man. Maybe I do need no man. I'm gonna go this way. I don't know which way it goes, but she stands on the cute little flower. Like, so I probably won't put her on the flower. I think she can, yeah. She can stand on her own, so. Little baby. So cute. So those that's what he got me for my birthday. So now I'm going to show you guys what I got myself. I got myself a lot of Funkos. It's been a while since I bought in Funkos. So I went a little crazy. But the first thing I'm going to show you really quick is a pin. Um, if you guys saw my Star Wars vlog, I went to Disneyland during May the 4th. And I believe I only got one thing for myself. And that is this Star Wars pin. It's a Darth Vader one. Um, I already put it on my Darth Vader lounge fly, so this is it. I don't know if you guys can see it. If not, I will show a close-up, but it's like a Darth Vader, like, doll-inspired pin. It's really, really cute. I love it. Adorable. They also have, like, an Obi-Wan one as well, like an old Obi-Wan one, and I want to get it. Um, there's another thing I might get eventually, which is the Naboo Starbucks mug. They had it on Shop Disney. I didn't get it, which I regret, but now they have it at Star Traders in downtown Disney and I'm hoping next time I'm in California I'm able to pick it up and they still have it available so um that's what I got <laughs> and um I guess I'll show you guys the Funko Pops I got actually one is on the shelf right now so let me let me get up and grab that one this first Funko Pop I got myself is this one it is the Scarlet Witch one from the Doctor Strange multiverse movie um oh my god she's so stinking cute i love it i love the color of her hair it's much different than the other ones the other ones it looks a little bit more brown in here it's a little bit more orange the design of her outfit beautiful stunning like how can you not it's gorgeous and then i love that she's using her powers and everything she has her little stand absolutely amazing like amazing i also got myself guys the struggles real hold on i forgot to grab these two but i also got myself the want scarlet witch ears um from shop disney so these went up on shop disney online they were at the disney and it kept selling out selling out and then when they restocked on shop disney my uh, fiance's family was able to grab it for me and i got it for myself um i tore off the tag because like um ew disgusting um all i left was the part that i think says shop disney and marvel on it but it's kind of like 
ruffling right here, which is not cute. Um, but I got myself the ears because hello, adorable. I will say the only issue I have with the ears is like this part right here really digs into like your, like your head right here. Um, and it's a little bit of annoying, but they're really cute and I love them. So I picked up these and then on the side, it says, I have everything under control. Really awesome. If you haven't seen the movie, go watch it. You should have already seen it already, but if you haven't, you need to see it. Especially if you're a Wanda Scarlet Witch fan, you need to see it. You need, girl, just go see it. And then we can talk about it. <laughs> but the pop is adorable too. It goes on my Wanda shelf. Really adorable. I love that they have like a little bit of makeup on her as well. She just looks stunning. And I got this one from Toy Temple. So that's my favorite Funko store uh, where I live and it's amazing. And then I also picked up another Funko Pop from them. And you guys, <laughs> this Funko Pop I picked up from them is literally a grail pop that I've always wanted, always wanted. And there was a store at a mall that had it for like, I think 60, 70 bucks. And I couldn't get myself to like buy it. But once it got to May, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna splurge, I'm gonna buy it. Of course, when I go, it's not there anymore. And also, I think the value is going to go up just because of what's going on recently, <laughs> um, which is the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. But anyways, um, I found this pop for a really decent price. Like I said, this pop is going for like 70 plus dollars and I found it at Toy Temple and it was only $30 and I had to get it. Like I, I had to get it because I was just like, I don't get it. I'm going to regret it. And I'm so glad I did because I went to Toy Temple yesterday. No, not yesterday. The other day. And well, not that long ago. And they don't have it anymore. So your girl's happy. And that is the Anakin Skywalker Special Edition Funko Pop. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is beautiful. I love it so, so much. Like, oh my god. You guys know how much I love Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker. And your girl is so excited for Obi-Wan Kenobi. If you haven't seen it, you need to go watch it. Your girl has watched it like over and over like four times already. Um... So yeah, it's available on Disney Plus to watch, but I literally want to cry because I love this pop so much. I am going to take it out of the box. I'm not sure if I'm going to, I think I'm going to take it out of the box. I'm going to display it out of the box. I just like, it's a grail pop that I wanted for so long. So why wouldn't I display it out of the box? You know, this is my first time taking it out. Oh my God. Oh my God. He is a bobblehead and like, I literally want to cry. Like, I want to cry because, like, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Tearing up over a Funko Pop. Guys, it's, you know, it is amazing. It's going to go on my Darth Vader shelf, which is right about here. It's a little messy right now, but oh my, oh my God. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. I love that it has a scar. I love that his eyes are like that because this is from Revenge of the Sith, episode three, which is my favorite Star Wars episode besides six. Um, I love the prequels. It's my favorite, like, you know, series of all the movies. Oh my God. It's just, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I could talk about this pop all day, but we won't. But it's stunning and I love it so much. I can't wait to put it on my shelf. Oh, and see him every day. Maybe I'll put him on my desk, honestly. <sighs> so I got those ones from Toy Temple. Um, he was 30 bucks, like I said, but if you look up his value, it's like, I don't know, 70, 80 bucks and it's ridiculous. <laughs> so definitely a steal. And then I got some Funko Pops from Hot Topic. Oh, this one, this is the box, the long one. I got one Funko Pop from Hot Topic. And this one I got like, when it came out at Hot Topic, and that is the Disney Classics Tinkerbell Hot Topic exclusive one. You know your girl had to get this one. I definitely wanted the Chase version of this one where her face is red or pink, um, but I just picked up this one just to be able to like have it. Um, shout out to my nephew, Augie. He's the one that got it for me because I was at work and I wanted to make sure that I got it. I will take her out of the box. But this is Tinkerbell when she's kind of like pouting on the floor and, you know, all upset, of course. Um, 
I actually took a picture of myself at the Disney parks. Like when they first opened, I bound as Tinkerbell and I took a picture of me doing this pose. I'll insert it here, ta-da. Um, but here she is, she's so angry and I love this. I love this pose and everything. One Funko Pop I want them to make of Tinkerbell is when she's looking at herself in the mirror. And she's just like, oh my god, look at that big booty. I love that scene. It's one of my favorite, like, scenes in Peter Pan because I think it's adorable. Because she's kind of like, she didn't, it's her first time looking at herself in the mirror. And she's kind of like, what the heck? That's what I look like, you know, kind of thing. Um, but there's this one. I will say the colors of this one are a little bit more like a lighter pastel. Like, her hair is like really, really light blonde compared to the other Funko Pops. Like, I'll show you guys, let's see, this one, because this is like one of the newer ones. So this one is like really blonde, really yellow. This is more like a muted pastel kind of deal. Like the colors are a little bit, a little bit different. Um, I just wanted to share that, especially her hair. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know if that's intentional or what, but that's what they look like. I just love that she's so angry. Like, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, of course, I had to pick up this one. Eventually, I do want to get the Chase one. Um, but for right now, we have this one. And she's cute. And she'll be going on the Tinkerbell shelf once I rearrange everything. Now, I have a, a couple more things to show you guys that I picked up. Um, <laughs> I gotta reach for it. <laughs> Next thing I picked up is a lounge fly and your girl hasn't gotten lounge fly in quite some time and it's because your girl's getting married next year so I put a lot of my money towards our savings and towards the wedding um so it's I, I splurged a little this month because I wanted to get a lounge fly and I actually picked up two the second one you guys will see in a different video um so because i'm going to do a separate unboxing with that one but this one i got at disneyland and i needed to get it because you know, there's a movie coming out soon which is lightyear so i got the buzz lightyear lounge fly this is the disney parks one i got this one because i don't know i like this one better they've recently put out like newer versions of them of like buzz lounge flies and i'm not i'm not a fan like there's this one i saw at box lunch I'll answer it here i just mm, no and then i saw it in person and i was like yeah no i just i don't like it but i love this one it's of his like suit and everything it says light year space rangers has like all his little buttons and stuff it's white purple and green it has a smaller pocket here you got his little laser thing over here and this one i'm really excited for the buzz light year movie um Super excited, especially since my celebrity crush, Chris Evans, and my husband is voicing Buzz Lightyear, and your girl's really, really excited. Um, I don't, does it have a lining in it? Yeah, it does. In the lining, it has all the green aliens. I've already used this backpack a couple times. I am bound as Buzz Lightyear as well when we were at the parks during my birthday. So, definitely a new favorite lounge fly of mine it's so stinking cute and i like this one i just like it better than the other ones and the newer ones so had to pick it up at the park so there's that one and then um there's something i've been wanting from the parks for a really long time i didn't pick it up um one time i was at the parks because like i just didn't have the money for it or put the money towards it because you know um and i regretted not getting it because like you couldn't get it and then i could get it on shop disney but i didn't and i'm glad i didn't because it went on sale it went from being like 70 80 dollars to like 30 dollars so your girl had to get it and i actually picked up two one for myself and my fiance marcus and that is the baymax spirit jersey <gasps> let me take it out i love baymax like i love Baymax, when the movie first came out, I had to see it so badly, and I saw it, I think, the day that it premiered in theaters, and he, he, I just love him so much, and I'm so excited for the Baymax, like, TV series that is coming out on Disney+. Plus. <sighs> so, so excited. So, this is what it looks like. It's a hooded one. I don't have a hooded one, but my fiance has a couple of spear jerseys that are hooded, and those are his favorite ones. So, here it is. It has Baymax's face on the top in white. It has like the streams. Here is the hood. Um, and then it's red at the bottom. 
really, really cute. It has pockets as well, which is really, really nice. And then this is the back of it. It says Big Hero 6. Oh my God. I got it in a size medium. I'm usually a small in the spirit jerseys, but I sized up for more of like a baggy feel. And then I got my fiance a size large. So we have matching spirit jerseys. It's really cute. I love it so much. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear it. I know it's like, I live in Arizona. It's like a thousand degrees right now. And then it's summertime and everywhere and it's, it's hot now, but like, I probably will might wear it on my next trip to Disneyland or may or may not, <laughs> but I love it. I can't wait to wear it. See, the original price was $79.99, so $80. And I will insert the price I actually paid. I wanna say it was like $30. $8, so $40, definitely a steal, a steal, guys. And then, of course, I didn't want to pay for, like, the shipping, so I spent $75, so I got Marcus one. And then I also got myself a Wishable, and this was on sale as well, and it's the Sorcerer Mickey one. He's so angry. I don't understand why he's so angry. I have another one of him where he's angry. I think, yes, it's a Space Mountain one. And he's angry. I don't know why, but he's angry in this one. He has his little sorcerer hat and robe. Really cute and fantastic. Is back at the parks right now. It's one of my favorite shows besides the fireworks. I would say it's the fireworks and it's fantastic. Like, I just, I love it so much. Um, so I had to pick him up. He's so cute. He's one of my favorite versions of Mickey Mouse. Steamboat Willie, Classic Mini, Mickey Mouse, and um, Sorcerer Mickey are my favorite Mickeys. So... I probably will do a Sorcerer Mickey like shelf, I think, because I have a lot of Sorcerer Mickey stuff-ish. So really cute. I believe these are now like $14.99. I want to say I spent like, like five bucks or something. I'll insert here. I don't remember, but originally they're like, yeah, $14.99, 15 bucks. Ridiculous. And it has this long tag, which your girl's going to cut off. But he's so cute and angry for some reason. I don't know why, but so cute. We love him. I believe that is everything besides the newer lounge fly, which will have a separate video, like I said. But that is everything I got for my birthday. I am so grateful and blessed that I can spoil myself and everyone who gave me like presents and everything. Really, really nice of them and sweet. And thank you guys all so much for all the birthday wishes that you guys um, said to me on Instagram and everything. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but that is it, and I'm so happy to be back. I know your girl was, like, absent, was gone for about, like, two-ish, three-ish weeks. But I am back. I am ready to film some videos, especially since it's, like, summertime and everything. Um, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely comment down below what item is your favorite. Could I pick one? Absolutely not. I love everything, of course. <laughs> that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video, which is every Monday and Friday. And I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we've done this. And your girl is struggling. She's struggling. <sighs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god.